Hi everyone, welcome to the second video in this little series from um, Rita Berman's Europa book. And we have a little um, selection of biscuits today, so, um, or cookies maybe, you might call them in America, I don't know. Um, so uh, they look um, rather tasty. I've got a few ideas on what to do with these. Some of them look slightly familiar to me and some of them really don't. Now this one here, to me, looks like it might be a chocolate digestive and this might be the chocolate side of the biscuit. So we're going to do that first. Um, I'm going to try using the burnt umber to do the chocolate. Um, I'm going to do a layer all over first. I'm going to ignore this um, crosshatch pattern just to start with and we'll fill that in after as if the, there's a texture to the chocolate. Those of you who know what a chocolate digestive is will know there's a bit of a texture on the back of the biscuit. Um, I'm sure everyone has chocolate coated biscuits. It could of course be like a Struth waffle or something like that but uh, it's a chocolate now. I don't even know if I've said that right or if I'm thinking of the right type of biscuit but anyway I'm not a big biscuit eater not anymore I used to like a biscuit what's your favorite biscuit leave it in the comments I want to know what your favorite biscuit is this is dark sepia and I'm going to use it for the um, cross hatchy bit the thinner lines okay um I think as a child I always liked a malted milk dipped in a cup of tea of course and a custard cream oh yes chocolate biscuits never quite so keen on because they would melt all over my fingers and make a horrible mess so and I like dunking biscuits in tea you can't really do that with chocolate it melts and makes the sweet tea is disgusting although if you dip, dip something like a malted milk in the crumbs fall to the bottom and it doesn't seem to sweeten the tea I remember my kids used to dip their biscuits in my cup of tea because they didn't like tea but they liked their biscuits dipped in my tea cheeky monkeys I'm just thinking that that would probably might be the other way round that these might be the dark bits but I don't think it matters I'm not happy with with this I'm going to colour over it again in the burnt umber I want it to be a bit darker I'm not worried about um, having shadow and shade on the biscuit but I want the chocolate to look thick and glossy because mm, that's what you want it to be isn't it yeah custard creams now you probably may not know what malted milk and custard creams are um, I used to call them cow biscuits because malted milk biscuits have a picture of a cow and a calf on the back of them and they're basically malt, malt flavoured fairly plain biscuits but I love the flavour of malt they're really nice. Custard cream is very different. It's a sandwich biscuit and inside you've got a sort of sweet white cream type substance. Delicious. Um, now this one I'm thinking looks like a, um, what are they called? The ones with the jam in? I don't know. Um, I'm, as I say I'm not a big biscuit eater so I can't remember the names. Jammy Dodger? That's right isn't it? I'm just going to find the madder for the jam. I can't find it. Where are you? It's very strange. There it is. I'm going to make this jam madder. Now I used to, with these, um, they used to have jam, they would have a blob of jam with a hole in the biscuit on the top. There would be a biscuit underneath which was covered in the cream like you got in a custard cream. So I would always um, pull the two biscuits apart and um, lick the jam out of the hole of the top one. <laughs> it's disgusting. And it was really hard and set, like a almost like a jelly sweet. It, it would take a lot of, you'd have to keep pushing it back and forth to get it out and nick that out, then eat that bit of biscuit, then then bite the jam, the cream off the bottom one. I'd, God, I, I'd sound like I was brought up, I don't know. <laughs> It's not really polite, is it? So this is the brown ochre that I'm going to use for the biscuit. I want it fairly light. They weren't, you know, biscuits are quite beige. We don't really have a beige in our polychromos, so I'm just going to put a really light. To keep it lighter, put the pencil on its side, hold it further from the tip, just a gentle movement to 
get some colour down. Now to me this looks like it's supposed to be, this bit is higher than this bit so I'm just going to put another layer of colour just in here to make it look a little bit more three dimensional. So we used to have a biscuit um, jar barrel. It was a um, it was a Tupperware biscuit um, box, and it would always have. Um, we'd usually have some rich tea. Ugh. What a waste of calories having a rich tea biscuit. It's just like white flour and sugar, dry and ugh. and um, digestives, which were a bit better because they're bit, bit bit sweeter and fattier, I think and uh, custard creams and malted milk was probably about all we would normally have. I'm going to put, really emphasise the shadow just on the edges here. And then if we were really spoiled, my mum would go to Marks and Spencers and she would buy a Viennese biscuit, which was sort of like a shortbread with um, piped into a sort of S shape, but all swirly. Sorry, we're getting a bit off the page. And um, one end would be dipped in chocolate. Now, although I said chocolate biscuits, no, because only one end was dipped, you could hold the other end and uh, eat the chocolate end so it didn't melt on your hand. The only problem was it meant you ate the best bit first, which um, I'm the sort of person that always eat, leaves the best bit till last. But interestingly, my husband is the opposite. He'd eat the best bit first. I think it's in case he runs out of room. So now this one, I don't know what that is. Um, it could be a double layered biscuit with some jam and cream in the middle. Or it could be a decorated. I'm thinking I might colour it more like a party ring. Now another um, the party ring is a very plain biscuit, really plain and boring with a thick icing on the top. So I'm going to do a pink icing for this one. This is, um, um, what's it called, light magenta. Sorry. And I'm going to do that all the way around here. We'll do something a bit different in the middle. No, party rings are boring. Although ice gems are worse. I, th I say they're like dog biscuits with a bit of icing on. <laughs> they're very small, about this big. And uh, it's a very, very plain and boring biscuit with a, a little blob of hard, really hard, crunchy sugar icing on the top. Really not very exciting. My husband's favourite is cookies. He said he wasn't having a very good day at work yesterday. Um, someone had made him annoyed. It didn't matter. And uh, the person who works in one of the coffee shops um, in the office sort of complex um had spotted him and she said would you like a cookie that's just come straight out of the oven so he went to, to her um coffee shop um to her little um in place and uh got this cookie um freshly baked warm cookie now i am actually going to go back to this light magenta and put it in here too Decided. So yes, he was very spoilt. But I need to have a word with him. Although he's got a week off next week and I need to get him walking and thinking about his eating. Cold grey five. It's very difficult to talk to someone about their the fact that you noticed that they are putting on some weight. Because you take it very personally and it's very rude. But for me, it's not the look that worries me. It's the his health, you know. I think he needs to be watching what he's eating, you know, all these cookies. It's not, he's getting into the habit of having them every day. Um, the other weekend he said, ah, oh, we'll go for a walk. We went for a walk and we went for a coffee and he just bought a cookie without even thinking. And the next time I told him he couldn't have one. I thought we'd do like silver balls. I don't know. This one looks like a um so I think this is the jammy dodger and there's one like this that we have in, in the UK and it's just got jam in, there's no cream. 
I can't remember what they're called but that's how I'm going to colour that one. So I'm going to use a different colour to the jam in that one so this one I'm going to use the dark red. So yeah we didn't, when I was a child we didn't, the only cookies we had were Maryland cookies. Um, we didn't, I'm going to make it darker here where um, Rita's drawn some dots. Um, we didn't have the big soft gooey chocolate chip cookies or anything, the Maryland ones like hard and crunchy. So uh, we didn't really do those. I think it's something that's come over from America, which um, I'm sure a lot of people really like. This is, whoops, a pencil that's rolling away. <laughs> this is the raw umber. But I sometimes made cookies when the boys were young and we used to do um, cake, cake sales at their primary school. I used to make cookies. This is a bit dark, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, these remind me of sports biscuits. Does anyone remember those? Um, so they were boring, plain biscuit square like these, and on one side they were blank, I think, and the other side they had a picture of like a stick person doing a particular sport. It's quite strange. <laughs> Skiing or whatever it might be. So you'd want another one so you could see what the next person was doing. I didn't buy them very often. I don't think they were very exciting. The ones we never bought, there was a lemon flavoured biscuit. Hmm. And my mum wouldn't buy them. I'm trying to find a different colour to colour these. I, I'm just going to colour them plainish, I think. I'm going to try the green gold this time. And uh, my mum would never buy these lemon ones because um, she said that when she was a child she had um, a filling or something at the dentist and she had gas to um, knock her out and it made her feel quite unwell. And someone gave her one of those biscuits to eat afterwards and so she just associates that biscuit with the sort of nausea feeling that she had after the gas so she would never buy those. My grandfather used to eat squash fly biscuits. Did anyone else have those? So those were, um, I think they still make them. I'm going to make it a little bit darker all around here. Fig rolls. He used to call them squash fly biscuits. But we also used to have ones with currants in. They were quite horrible. Um, he also called those, I think those might have been the squash fly biscuits. I don't know. Because the currants were really burnt and dry and it. Now try and not sure what these circles are. Um, I think I might do them in a dark pink, just to sort of, because this is our only pink, just to sort of tie in. Um, what sort of dark pink goes? That, what about the magenta maybe? Yeah, because this is our light magenta, so I do them in a magenta. And I'm going to try and make them look like they're spherical. I don't know why. So you put a dark, intense layer around the edge. Just layer it up a bit and then left towards the middle. I've got no clue. Maybe I should have watched someone else's video to see how they coloured it. But sometimes I like to just do my own thing. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. Is there right and wrong? It comes to biscuits. I'm going to use a little bit of white pen on this one though. I want to make some the jam look shiny and see this one's got these lines all the way around. I'm going to put these on in white because I'm thinking, if I'm thinking this is like a party ring, they always have um, icing, white icing on as well in a sort of pattern. And although um, this isn't like a traditional party ring pattern, I think it's nice to put some blobs of white on there. And I'm thinking I might want a bit of shine on my chocolate and then on the jam. And then let's put it on these, whatever they are. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think that's that's that. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we'll leave that there. I've talked enough about biscuits, made you all hungry, and tomorrow we can talk all about ice creams. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a super day and happy colouring.